Well guys, here we are again. Transfer box back in the car and then I realized I don't have a handbrake or a transmission brake if the correct terminology. Uh, let's have a quick look at what that means. Basically it's very simple and it's really uh, easy as well. Uh, these four bolts are basically attached to the output shaft housing of the transfer case heading backwards in the car. Here's your handbrake drum and your shoes fit in here. This is the uh, adjuster, which should adjust the uh, padding at least, so it's quite tight against the drum. Not too tight that you don't move. And in here we have the piston. Um, the piston is connected to the, maybe I can put it in together here. So basically I've turned it around. This sits actually facing forward in the car. And this is connected to your handbrake lever by a cable, because this is an older version. And what it does is, as you pull it, it obviously moves the piston. And why that's important is because in here we have two up, upper and lower pistons that are also connected. Well, connected. It's not really connected. There's nothing in here, which is rather bizarre if you think about it. This whole thing is held on with a couple of clips basically a clip and a clip together, which basically means it won't move. Uh, our piston has a bevel. I don't know if you can see that because the camera is not try, trying not to focus very well. You can see how it's tapered. And that taper is when it moves, uh, it obviously gets pulled by your uh, cable. As it moves, the taper comes more into the piston if that makes any sense at all. And why that's important is that as it moves, it moves these two pistons out. So normally they would sit inside here like that, and now they're getting pushed just a little bit out, but like that. And how that happens is that there's a little, looks like a, a roller. Look at this. This sits on here. And as this rolls along, don't know if I'm even trying, if I'm even doing this correctly, this kind of pushes the roller on that bevel against here. And so that moves the piston out just a couple of millimeters, that's enough. So there's two rollers on each side here. That goes in there. Move our two sides in here. And as you pull the handbrake lever, uh, that little taper will push these out and it will push the uh, shoes into the drum, which is basically how you keep your handbrake on. As I said, it's not very much, just a couple mil. But what happened to me is I took this off, obviously, when I moved the transfer case and uh, these two fell out. Luckily, I've kept them. I found them. Otherwise I would have had to replace the whole thing. And what that meant was I couldn't figure out where they went until I tried to use the handbrake and put everything together. There's no friction at all because these little rollers are not pushing on our pistons here. So now the idea is to get this thing back together, get our little push uh, pull pin on there, connect it to the cable and see if we've got a handbrake then. Yeah, a little bit uh, annoying, but I have to say, it's very easy super simple these four bolts take the whole thing off the shoes we'll have a look at maybe later the shoes just clip on with springs and basically that's it it's very simple little uh, mechanism here's the back which actually faces forward in the car and you can reach the adjuster screw here this one sits on the right hand side of the car if you're looking forward if you're standing by the back axle looking forward this is on the right hand side, this is on the left hand side. So it should be that way. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's adjustment screw there. That will be a 12. Super 12 seems to work. So yeah, let's get this thing back together and then we can have a look at reinstalling it. And basically the big job is to adjust it.
There you can actually even see it in action. I don't know if this will work. Right, so now that's done. I'm going to try and explain this quickly because those four bolts that we saw in the beginning, uh, they fit onto the rear of the transfer case, the output shaft for the rear, which I'll show you in a second now, which is, that's the rear output shaft. Here I'm checking the play. And those bolts there is where the plate screws onto, bolts onto. Now we have a quick look at the drum itself that fits over the top of the shoes. I'll pull it off here and that basically those four bolts go to your rear prop shaft and there are your brake shoes again obviously I'm looking at the play here because we had a problem with the transfer case which started the whole thing in the first place but those bolts there that's those are the four bolts that we were looking for looking towards I think they're 15s or 17s and they can be rather tight I had quite a bit of trouble getting three out of the four out uh, it took me quite a while to do that. It's obviously difficult to get to as well with the brake shoes on there as well. I have to give a shout out to lrukforums.com. Uh, this is a thread from 2008, quite a long while ago, from a guy called Ben Breeze. Thanks for that, dude. Uh, I was looking at what I'd done wrong. The handbrake wasn't working at all. And I managed to find out uh, exactly step by step what I had to do to get a hold of the... Um, mechanism what i'd done wrong and there's two little rollers that i showed you in the beginning what they actually do which was really rather informative uh link is in the description below go check that out an old one but really informative so thanks for that one but i've got it all together and it's working so i hope this was informative uh for you guys a uh, pretty easy job to do you need a couple of things i did use a rattle gun which was uh, quite handy to remove a lot of the studs and 15 is good, 17 mil spanner, and obviously a 916 to remove the prop shaft, which is also quite important. And then you need to remove the handbrake cable, which is basically a spring clip, which is quite easy as well. Now we have a quick look underneath here. You can see the prop shaft and the brake drum itself. There's the transfer case. Uh, it's a little bit shaky cam, not very good with the lighting, but we're trying to see where the adjustment nut is, which is the 12 mil. As I said, it's on the left-hand side here. If we duck underneath, there it is. Uh, that is to adjust your brake shoes, obviously quite important, otherwise the handbrake doesn't work at all. Uh, then we'll try and uh, slip underneath, try and go to the other side on the right-hand side. And we're obviously looking forward, uh, but upside down. So there is your plunger that we put together. There's the little clip that it's connected to. And if we follow it all the way around, we can see how the cable goes all the way around the back uh, to the left-hand side, because there's a left-hand drive car. That's where the handbrake is. And if we can just pause on here quickly, you can see where the plunger goes in and also how it's connected by that little clip. And there's a little spring there to keep the tension on it and uh, basically that's how your handbrake works so very interesting so there you go guys thanks for watching this one um hope it was informative catch you on the next one and remember keep rolling